I tell you what, we've got some thunderstorms going on outside. Okay. A little bit unexpected, mm -hmm. right? Let's take a look at how things are expected to go over the next few hours. As the sun sets, uh, we will start to dry out a little bit. There's a little wave of energy moving through, kicking up some showers, some rumbles of thunder, a little hail. But notice that the temperatures are dropping back, and we will start to see things breaking up. Two areas that we're keeping an eye on, one in Lorraine County, one farther south. That's the one that kind of has been producing these uh, showers and thunderstorms. Let me see if this thing is going to work. Nope, it's not going to. We upgraded our computer today and this is the one thing I didn't check. <laughs> I thought, do a little gambling. It's my birthday. Why not? But no, alas, that won't work. Okay, but I'll just come over here and kick it old school. So we do have these showers that are moving through, and these are notable mostly because they are producing some very gusty winds. This is coming through Lorain County right now. We're talking about wind gusts that are probably upwards of 50 miles per hour. Uh, there you can see 60 mile per hour wind gusts uh, that are above the surface. So if that makes it down, we're talking 50 plus mile per hour gusts. That is going to continue to move to the east. And as it does so, that will be impacting areas around Bay Village, Westlake, North Olmsted, Berea, uh, down into Olmsted Falls, Olmsted Township, Middleburg Heights, over to Parma eventually, and then into Cleveland, Independence, and points to the east. So that is holding together fairly well, and it'll be a burst of heavy wind. You may get some pea-sized hail in there, uh, and then, of course, also that rain that is coming down that will impact the roads. So just make sure uh, that you are noted on that. Farther south, we were seeing a few rumbles of thunder coming through through Mansfield. We did have one report that uh, we did indeed have some hail that came down. Whoops, let me uh, change that. Uh, but for the most part, this is just kind of a good gust of wind and some heavier downpours that will continue to move to the east as well. Here's the bigger picture. I want to show you this uh, next little wave that's coming in. Uh, the one that is cutting through right now is here. Okay, this is the morning rain that kicked out uh, some pretty good downpours. Now we have this little batch coming through and we got to go way over here. This is going to be here by midday tomorrow and the line that it is cruising right along is a freezing line so we may see a little rain snow mix that gets in here. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. What's coming through this evening will be moving out. We'll get some breaks in the overcast overnight tonight. Temperatures fall back to the low to mid 30s as we start the day tomorrow. Southwesterly winds will stay with us but look at this. Temperatures get up to about 50 or so as this wave begins to move in. You can see this rain snow mix that slides across the area. As soon as this comes in, the lakeshore temperatures will be coming down. So if you work in the morning, you head indoors, downtown Cleveland points east especially, uh, it's probably going to be about in mid 40s, near 50. And then by afternoon, those temperatures drop back. You may see a little wet snow mixing in with the rain, but then that moves out. We break out into some partly cloudy skies and we stay with a beautiful day coming our way on Thursday. Universal Windows Direct Forecast has that midday rain snow, then it's out of here. We're back up to 51 or so with sun to start Thursday, then clouds increase. Little rain snow mix on Friday with windy conditions, temps only in the 30s, but by the end of the weekend and to start next week, we're talking highs near 60. We'll be right back.